Welcome to Live Alive. In today's video we'll start with Liverpool have advantaged over Bayern Munich in Zabai Alonso race, Leverkusen are at risk of losing Alonso in the summer as he is being heavily linked with Liverpool and Bayern Munich. Liverpool are searching for Jurgen Klopp's successor after the German announced his exit in the summer, while Bayern Munich are in the market for a new manager to replace Thomas Tuchel, who is also departing at the end of this season. On Tuesday morning, transfer expert Fabrizio Romano claimed that Alonso has made a U-turn on his Leverkusen future. According to Give Misport, Liverpool have a clear advantage over Bayern Munich as a Klopp's lengthy reign highlights that there is stability at Anfield. The report explains, Liverpool may have moved ahead of Bayern in the battle to lure Alonso away from Leverkusen as heading to Anfield is a more attractive prospect thanks to Fenway Sports Group having a track record of giving managers plenty of time to stamp their authority. According to GMS sources, Liverpool are refusing to allow Bayern's own pursuit of Alonso to have an impact on their plans, GMS sources understand. As the Merseyside Giants are going about their business behind closed doors and have remained fully focused on finding what they believe would be the right package to put on the table, the general feeling is that there is a lot of PR spin surrounding reports coming out of Germany that a move to Bavaria is on the cards for the 42-year-old, whose Leverkusen side are on the verge of clinching the Bundesliga title, resulting in Fenway Sports Group being increasingly unlikely to be paying attention to stories from overseas, Liverpool have remained calm throughout the process of assessing potential candidates for the managerial job, but Alonso has stayed at the top of their list of contenders heading into the final months of Klopp's reign. England coach impressed with Liverpool starlet, Jarrell Kwanzaa continues to thrive with Liverpool this season, with his impressive displays not going unnoticed elsewhere. The 21-year-old has made 25 appearances for the Reds to date, scoring once, claiming three assists, and helping Jurgen Klopp's side win the League Cup against Chelsea last month. He'd also start Liverpool's last four matches before the March international break, with such a run including the Reds' 1-1 draw with title rivals Man City as he helped keep Erling Holland quiet at Anfield. Klopp's men returned to Premier League action at home to Brighton Hove Albion on Sunday 31 March, before they face eight games in just 24 days during April. Continuing to challenge for both the Premier League title and Europa League, Liverpool will travel to both Manchester United and Everton during such a period, it has been a season to remember for Kwanzaa regardless of how the campaign ends, considering he was yet to even play competitively for Klopp's first team prior to their comeback victory away at Newcastle United at the end of August. And England under-21's manager Lee Carsley has been most impressed by the young centre-back's progress, admitting he is benefiting from playing in the Liverpool first team as opposed to going out on loan ahead of handing Kwanzaa his fourth young Lions cap against Luxembourg on Tuesday night, I think is really moving well in the right direction. He said, Sometimes you forget how young they are when you see them play, he plays with such maturity. You think about the level of some of the games he's played in recently as well, he took it in his stride, I really think that it helps that he's got some strong, experienced players around him. He's very focused on pushing on and doing well. I've been really impressed with him this week. Trent expected to sign new deal, Liverpool defender Trent Alexander-Arnold is being tipped to remain at the club, despite ongoing interest from Real Madrid, the 25-year-old fullback is under contract at Anfield until next summer but it is thought the La Liga giants are still keen on exploring a potential deal, Alexander-Arnold, who joined the club as a six-year-old, has already won the UEFA Champions and the Premier League with Liverpool, but is yet to make a decision regarding a new deal on. Merseyside with no sporting director or manager formally lined up beyond the current season, with incoming CEO Michael Edwards set to return and new director of football Richard Hughes also soon to be announced. It is thought the priority will quickly turn to Alexander-Arnold, according to Team Talk, the Reds' priority will be keeping hold of their vice-captain and England international. Journalist Neil Jones recently provided an in-depth update on the situation, I personally think it is highly unlikely that Trent Alexander-Arnold will leave Liverpool this summer, but of course the longer his new contract remains unsigned, the more you start to wonder, stated Jones, he is due to enter his final year in June, and from the club's perspective, that is not a situation you want to be in with regards to one of your star players. I'm not surprised to see Real Madrid linked, they are a club that makes a habit of targeting the best players in the world and Alexander-Arnold is certainly one of those. Harvey Elliott eyeing up a long career at Liverpool, making 41 appearances so far this season, returning three goals and six assists, he is just five outings away from matching his career-best total for a campaign, 
and while he has started only 20 of his appearances this season, he is fully committed to Liverpool and is eyeing up a long career at the club. With further silverware after last month's League Cup final win also firmly in his sights, it was a dream come true. It's an incredible feeling to put the shirt on and have that badge on my chest, he told SWM. Just being around the city and meeting the people, the love they have for the game is incredible, it's a city that lives and breathes football. So being around it with my family is a great buzz and a special feeling. I want to keep winning trophies with this team. Both individually and collectively, we are never content with what we have, we always want more. I have a hunger for greatness, I hope the dedication, desire, and motivation to do the small things well, will take me a long way in my career. Call it greedy, but I want to achieve more and experience everything this game has to offer, especially when it comes to trophies with this club. Liverpool make an offer for Mo Salah's successor, Liverpool have made offers for a superstar forward to join this summer, in a move that could spell the end for Mohamed Salah. The Egyptian king has been on Merseyside for seven years now, winning everything in football during his time with the Reds and scoring over 200 goals. Salah is 31 though, and will be approaching the final year of his latest contract next season. With interest last summer from the Saudi Pro League, the forward may opt to leave Liverpool this summer and follow outgoing manager Jurgen Klopp. Italian outlet TV Play are reporting via an interview with journalist Fabio Santini that there are offers from Premier League sides on the table for Juventus star Federico Chiesa. With historic links for the Italian from the Reds, what does Juventus do? They might sell Chiesa and not Vlahovic as is being rumoured, Santini claimed. There are offers on Chiesa from the Premier League bigwigs, particularly Liverpool. In my view, signing Chiesa as a replacement for Salah would make sense, given that Michael Edwards has just returned to Merseyside and links with the Euro 2020 winner stretch back to his time as sporting director. But reports offers on Juve's table for the star may be premature, with the Reds still to install a manager ahead of next season. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support Live Alive.